Hi guys, welcome back to the Scout the Defender YouTube channel and to another video where today we're going to be discussing all things wheels and tyres. I've got four options of things that I'm considering for an upgrade for both the wheels and the tyres, so stay tuned as I walk through all of those and it'd be great to get your thoughts and comments down below. And the fourth option is something a little bit out there, but perhaps something that I'm leaning towards the most out of all the options, so stay tuned for that. Let's get right into it and look at the wheel and tyre options that I'm considering. Now before jumping straight into the four wheel options, it's worth discussing what Scout had on previously. So when I bought Scout, he was bone stock and it was sitting on the original Silver Boost alloy wheels wrapped in actually these tyres. I didn't want those on, I, I wanted something slightly more unique and, and a bit different so I opted to swap those out immediately, but I perhaps rushed into that decision so that's why today we've got these four options that I'm excited to talk around and get your guys thoughts in the comments below. So as you can see at the moment, Scout has black sawtooths on. These are the wheels that I went for after swapping out the Boost alloys. I like the black sawtooths, but I think they're slightly overdone today. Um, and I'd be looking to upgrade them for something slightly more different and a little bit more unique. There's a couple of other bugbears. I'm still rocking the old cross continental tires that came with Scout. They're a good tire for day to day driving, but they don't look as aggressive as some other tires on the market. So that's something that I'm gonna look to swap out when I do the wheels. Another bugbear is also that I've still got the silver wheel nuts, which again, I probably should have blacked out at the time, but it does mean that there's options to upgrade this setup without having to change all of the wheels. So the first option is to upgrade this setup that Scout currently has. You'll have seen in previous videos, I've got these 30 mil wheel spacers that I'm still yet to fit. So when I fit those, it'll bring out the stance of the car, make Scout sit slightly more aggressive with the wheel filling the arch a little bit better. And when I do that, I'll be able to swap out the tires for some BF Goodridge KO2s, that slightly more aggressive uh, tire tread, which again, will help to fill the arch. And also when I do that, change out those silver wheel nuts for black. So that will give Scout a slightly more aggressive stance and it will clean off some more of that silver. So it's more of that blacked out look. That's option one, utilizing the current sawtooths, adding some wheel spaces and a more aggressive tire to give Scout that greater stance. So option number two that I'm considering is swapping out the sawtooths for some steel wheels. You'll see these on more kind of heritage vehicles or cars that are going more off-road and it gives the car a more kind of utilitarian look, which I do really like. If I was to do that, I would go for a black steel wheel and pair that with something like a BF Goodridge KO2 again, that slightly more aggressive tire tread, which will give Scout that more kind of off-road look, something which I think would look really cool um, and a slight deviation away from the sawtooths. Um, but again, be keen to hear your thoughts down below. Option number three is almost the opposite to the steel wheel choice, and that's to fit more of what I consider to be a road looking wheel. I'm thinking of something like a, a twisted sport wheel, something that's got a natural deep offset and a deep dish to bring the wheel out to fill the arch. And they look really cool with that deeper inset dish. Obviously the twisted wheels are super expensive. Um, they're definitely the higher end of this budget, but there's other wheels that kind of replicate that similar look. You can see here the price difference between the three types of wheel. You've got the VBS Nemesis, which has that deep offset, and that's the cheapest option at around 780 pounds for the set of five. You've got the SMC wheel. I really like the style of this, and this has even more of a deeper offset, but obviously a set is looking at around 1500 pounds. And then finally the twisted wheel, which of course is my favorite option, but again is that much more expensive option of around 1500 pounds for a set of five wheels. As I say, it's a totally different look to the steel wheels, so I'd be keen to hear kind of which direction you guys think I should be going in. If I was to fit a wheel like that, I'd be looking at a black or a dark gray, again, to tie it in with the rest of the theme of Scout being basically all kind of blacked out. But I have seen the resurgence of those silver wheels, and there's actually a couple of examples online that I've seen of black cars rocking those silver, twisted, deep set wheels, which I think look really cool. So again, be keen to hear your thoughts down below. Now the 
fourth and final wheel option is an option that's slightly out there and why you guys have probably waited to get to this part of the video. Hey guys, this is a quick interruption to ask that if you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe. Over 80% of people that watch the videos frequently don't subscribe to the channel and it really helps the channel out. So be sure to subscribe to be notified when the next videos drop and it supports the channel in turn and we can do much more exciting modifications, road trips and really grow the channel. So be sure to subscribe and uh, yeah, let's get back to the video. Now the wheel choice itself isn't that odd. I really like the twisted row style wheels. Again, they give that more kind of heritage look, hark back to Defenders of old, and I think they look really cool on a Defender. They already have an offset within them, so you don't have to worry about spacers, and they'll fill the arch, especially wrapped in, again, a more aggressive tire choice. I think they look really cool, and uh, they hark back to that heritage look, and I think on Scout, they would look quite cool. The twist here, though, is that I've explored what they look like in a different color, and I'm thinking to paint them in a white, I think it would really contrast the rest of the car and on the mock-ups, I think it genuinely looks really cool. It's something quite different and what I'm looking for, I don't want it to look like another Defender on the road. I think it could be a really cool choice to go for, but I'd be really keen to get your thoughts below. Am I thinking just totally crazy and it looks ridiculous? Or are you guys thinking that this mock-up actually looks like it could work? So there you go guys, those are the four options for wheels and tires that I'm considering to do as an upgrade. Option one is to keep the current setup, the black sawtooth wheel, but partnering it with some 30mm wheel spacers to really improve the stance of the car. Also wrapping it in a BF Goodridge tyre to give it that more aggressive sidewall and also black wheel nuts to be more in keeping with the rest of the look of the car. Option two is to fit a steel wheel, something like a wolf wheel. Again, give Scout more of a utilitarian look, wrapped in a BF Goodridge tyre and also with black wheel nuts. Option three is to fit a more road bias looking wheel, something like a twisted sport. Again, with that deep offset will naturally bring out the, the tire and wheel combination and also look really aggressive, wrapped in that BF Goodridge tire. And option four, the slightly more left field choice is to fit a row style wheel, really liking that heritage look and painting it white to contrast the rest of the car. I'd love to hear what you guys think, whether option four is totally crazy and looks really rubbish, or whether you actually think that it could be something that looks quite cool and a bit different to other defenders that you see on the road. For now, what I'm considering doing is jacking up the car, putting the wheel spacers on so it fills the arch a little bit more, leaving the current tires, and then swapping out the wheel nuts for black wheel nuts. That'll give Scout a bit of a refreshed look, a greater stance while I'm thinking about this other decision to perhaps upgrade the wheels in the future. So that's it for now guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop it a like, subscribe to see what choice I go for on the wheels and follow that journey. And be sure to come back in the next video. I'll see you then.